In the past, people used to think infinity as a manifestation of God's infinite nature or omnipotence. Now we can see infinity as a matter of mathematical or scientific concept that has no religious or spiritual connotations. Describing infinity using a number like the square root of 2 is not problematic in itself, as irrational numbers such as the square root of 2 are used to represent quantities that cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. However, the concept of infinity is more complex than simply representing it with a number. Infinity is not a number but a concept that refers to the idea of something being unbounded or limitless. It is a mathematical concept that describes a quantity or a process that never ends or has no boundaries. Infinity can refer to both very large numbers and very small numbers. The problem with infinity arises when it is treated as a number and used in calculations as if it were a finite quantity. This can lead to paradoxes and contradictions in mathematics, such as the famous Zeno's paradoxes, which involve infinite divisibility, and the idea that motion is impossible. So, the problem is not with the numbering system or division system, but rather with the way we understand and use the concept of infinity in mathematics. We need to be careful and precise when using infinity in calculations and make sure that we are not making any assumptions or oversimplifications that could lead to errors or inconsistencies. Zeno's paradox is a series of philosophical puzzles that question the nature of motion and change. One of the most famous versions of the paradox involves the race between Achilles, a fast runner, and a tortoise, a slow but steady walker. According to the paradox, if Achilles gives the tortoise a head start, he will never be able to catch up with it. This is because in the time it takes Achilles to reach the point where the tortoise started, the tortoise will have moved a smaller distance. In the time it takes Achilles to reach that new point, the tortoise will have moved again, and so on, ad infinitum. This seems to imply that motion and change are illusory, and that there is no such thing as reaching a destination because there are an infinite number of points to be crossed in between. However, this paradox can be resolved by using the mathematical concept of limits, which allows us to approach a destination infinitely close without ever actually reaching it. Hilbert's Hotel is another famous thought experiment in mathematics that helps to illustrate some of the counterintuitive properties of infinity. Imagine a hotel with an infinite number of rooms, each of which is occupied by a guest. If a new guest arrives and wants a room, the manager can simply move the guest in room 1 to room 2, the guest in room 2 to room 3, and so on, creating a vacancy in room 1 for the new guest. But what if an infinite number of new guests arrive at the same time? The manager can still accommodate them all by asking each guest to move to the room number that is twice their current room number. So, the guest in room 1 moves to room 2, the guest in room 2 moves to room 4, the guest in room 3 moves to room 6, and so on, leaving an infinite number of rooms available for the new guests. This paradoxical scenario shows that even though infinity is not a number, it can behave in unexpected ways that challenge our intuition about the finite world. Hilbert's Hotel helps us to understand some of the complexities of infinity and its relationship to finite objects and processes. We can also use loops to deal with infinite processes or calculations involving infinity. A while loop is a control structure that repeats a block of code as long as a specified condition is true. For example, we can use a while loop to calculate the sum of an infinite series of numbers, where each term is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a constant factor. The loop would continue endlessly or until the sum converges to a finite value or until we reach a maximum number of iterations. We need to be careful when dealing with infinite processes, since there may be issues of numerical precision, memory usage, or algorithmic efficiency. It is important to choose appropriate data types, control structures, and error handling techniques to ensure that our computer and programs can handle infinite processes in a robust and reliable way.